start recording. This is Josiah Plays Pillars of Eternity. I'm back, ready to do some more pillaring. Playing Path of the Damned, which is makes every fight a little more exciting <laughs> than it would be otherwise. Honestly, although some of the fights have felt very hard and dangerous, and I have died a couple times, um, it's been a difficulty that makes me think if I was playing this on hard, which is actually much easier than Path of the Dam, because I played both in the in the beta, and there's a huge difference. If I was playing this on hard, the game would seem way way too easy to me. Um, just kind of like that's how I felt with the backer beta too. That's why I chose to play on Path of the Dam. Now, I know there's going to be hard parts, really hard parts, where I'm going to die probably multiple times before I manage to complete an encounter. And that's okay with me. I don't get frustrated by that, that kind of stuff. I'm a person who is willing to die over and over and test different strategies and refine my tactics and do whatever I have to do. And then finally I beat it and it feels very satisfying. Some people don't like that. They, they don't want to die over and over. And that's okay. That's why there's different difficulty levels for different people. But I like that. If I come into a fight and it kicks my ass, that's exciting for me. Because I'm like, ooh, wow, this is a real challenge. I actually have to figure out how to beat this. I don't think I've seen a moonstone before. Moonstone derives its name from the moonlight from its moonlight-like luster, and is sometimes collected by Andra's gift bearers, who associate the stone's presence in the world with the legends of Andra's love affair with the moon. Oh, that's cool. Andra is the deity that my character reveres, according to my little backstory. I can't, oh, what are these guys doing up there? What are these jokers doing up there on that ledge? Come on, guys. Can I nuke them? So that leads into the tower thing. That's probably where you come from if you climb up the vines and all that. I don't know, though. I'm not going in there right now. Um, hey again, Steph. As you wooed. I had to go into the call of nature and set myself up with a new pitcher of ice water, which I now have. Because the last one was out. I've gone through like four of these pitchers of water, and it's a pretty big pitcher. Plus I've drank some sodas and I've drank some energy drinks besides that. Rainwater twitching with tiny larvae sloshes in the barrel. Mmm, well that's lovely. That's just what I want in my water. Can I get water with larvae, please? Thanks. Oh boy, here we go. Paladins of Bereth. All right. Another Paladin of Bereth. Radric Guard, Archer, Sellsword. Another Guard. Archer, Archer, Sellsword. Well then, this is a friendly assemblage. Let's just back the fuck up off this. Now, could I beat them? I think I could if I pull out all the stops and if I'm very clever. I don't know. If I can possibly pull some of them without getting the whole group, that would be super awesome. But let's, um, let's quick save. And where would I want to pull them to? I guess back here. So if I put my hey. tank, I post him up right here, of course, in the gap, so to speak, and I. On your word. Khan is going to be one of my pullers because he can grant the movement speed buff. To she's yes. going to be my other puller because she can shoot and do some pajiggity stuff from stealth. Um, so those two are going to be my pillars. Mm. Durance will hang back here a little bit, actually. Yes. And we better just keep Aleph and Seraphina mm -hmm. kind of far back until the scrum gets mixed up. Getting all up in the scrum. I just realized scrum would make a great name for like a dwarven 
fighter or like some kind of dwarven brawler type of character, like a very rough and tumble brawler. This is a dwarf named Scrum. Or an orc, like a half orc or something. Okay, uh, here we go. No, no, stop, don't you, don't do that. On your word. Well. Let's go. We're gonna try this. We're gonna try this pull. Um, this may what? end in horrible disaster, because that was a lot of enemies up there. I wonder if I can pull from over here. And this is probably a terrible idea, though, because then I'm gonna have to run past the... But you know what? I kind of want to try it. F5 this shit one more time. Alright, no, no, no. Alright, yes. Catriel. Try it. Oh, see, she's like, no, I'm not shooting up there. Don't be dumb. Okay, stop, yes. stop, stop. On your word. Come here. Following your lead. I am I am streaming, right? Sometimes after I restart it, I'm like, uh, is it even working? <laughs> That's a lot, though. That is a lot. That is a lot. Um. Okay. Well. Following your lead. Kana, I want you to be prepared. Well. Press the bolt. Cripple him with a shot. Did she have to get that close? Okay, run. Just well. run. Just run. Oh, oh my God. You're out for now, have a good one. Cool, thanks a lot, Stuff. Uh, have a good day, have fun doing whatever you're doing. See you later. <laughs> this is incredibly awful, what's happening right now. What the hell happened here? Oh wow, the archers. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, that's our automatically going to be a giant pile of fail. So hold up. Hold up. That's not going to work. Yeah, now I'm starting to think that with the party composition and spell selection that we currently have, I don't know that we can beat that group, because if I can't pull them and run, I have no idea what kind of strategy I might need to, uh... Unless I can shoot from, like... Can I shoot from no some kind prisoners. of... Oh, no. No, if she has to walk way the fuck up the stairs to shoot them, we've got a problem. Yeah, I don't know that I can do this fight at this point. On this difficulty level. On your word. Yes. As you wish. No. What is it? God damn it. Oh, hey. We got That's away without getting caught. Yes. I 
I'll take care of it. Following your lead. Well. Oh God. Okay, now run, run. Run, forest. On Saru. Ow, she got shot for a lot of damage. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Let's uh, let's do this now. How many are following? Oh shit. Okay, 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 okay. Let's um, let's let's be serious about this now. Um. Let's be serious about this now. Okay, now we will, now we'll fight. Yes. Hey. The archers back there. Okay, they are here. They all come. So let's think real hard about what we're gonna do. Should I should I delay them with some skeletons? I think I should. So put some skeletons out there. Put down a repulsing seal. Oh man, we got paladins with flaming swords. We got so much bullshit coming our way. Hey, right, cool. The skeletons at least are there. That might slow their their butchery of us a, a little bit. Okay, let's get some mental binding going. Wait, what's he doing? Hey. He needs to knock somebody down. Skeletons have been summoned. Next thing Kana should do is come over and attack this Celsor. Mm. The priest is casting the, the glyph down, so let's leave well. him alone. She can crippling strike. Crippling strike. Or let's just blind let's blinding strike this um This archer, I guess. How may I help? Um, Aloth. Okay, I need you to do some really cool shit because this is Wizard Central here. So bring it. Maybe I can ray of fire in an effective way, or maybe I can. Let's try fetid caress. See how that goes. What, what is this guy doing? Where's he coming from? He's just running right in on us. Okay, well hold on, that changes plans. Hey. Okay. What what do we have here? Did one of these things die? I don't know. On 
your word. Okay, nice. The glyph thing knocked some people down. That's good. Um. What is it? Just do a normal attack against him because he's sneak attackable. And then, yes, Aloth, I need you to do something cool. Or is he doing it? He's casting it. Okay, fine. Um, where is he casting it? I need to mental binding somebody. I guess probably... Probably... This guy. Alright, let's try it. Man, they ran in here fast. What happened? Human skeleton's dead. Oh, Fetid Caress went off. Okay. Good. Who got Fetid Caressed, though? It says... Fix Paladin of Barith with Fetid Caress. Oh, and he got <laughs> endurance with it too, okay. Um, endurance is not in a good place here. Not in a good place. He's actually for a moment not engaged. Okay, he's going to throw down a Consecrated Ground. Okay. Adair... ...really needs to just... I don't know what he needs to do. I guess he needs to keep fighting this cell sword right here. Kana? Nice. Maybe you need to start killing this Paladin of Barath right here. Yes. Mm, Catriel is currently killing this guy, which is good. Hi. Aloth, you cast your spell, so now you're looking for something new to do, right? He is not engaged, which is great. Cast a flame cone thing right there. Um, hmm. I realize I should have buffed. Should have buffed before this. All right. How about? How about we do another mental binding?
Or maybe I can charm him. That would really help. No, let's not charm. Okay, I should do Phantom Foes, because look how much of a zone it covers. Alright, Phantom Foes it is. How um, may I help? What is he casting? Oh yeah, he's casting Cone hmm. of Fire. Well. She's trying to kill that guy off. What? Durance is still trying to cast Consecrated yes. Ground. He is trying to kill this Paladin of Bareth. Hey. And Adair is... He's fighting this cell sword. Okay. Here we go. Oh, Catriel just got rocked by this paladin. What? Yes. Catriel is engaged, which is not good. The scarred is all up on her shit. Yes. Um, did he already know he did not already cast the, the, the fire spell? Let's let's just make sure it's actually gonna not hit any of my people. Okay, good. Um, yeah. What am I doing? Oh, I'm casting that still. What happened when I cast that? Okay, so it gets some of them. And the fire presumably got some of them. We need to get this guy off of her. Okay, what is he doing? He's over here kind of tanking uh, some guys. Which is good. What is Follow Kana doing? Way. Kana is trying to kill this Paladin of Vareth, I guess. Which is good. What? The priest <laughs> just got done casting the area heal. Now, how big of an area heal is this? Hmm. What is it? Should I use Armor of Faith? I can get, you know, almost everybody in it. He'll start to cast that. I? Aloth can move up. Just a little bit, so he's in it. And my character, who's back here, who's apparently engaged by Redrick Guard. Redrick Guard. Where did this guy come from, though? Seriously. Um. Yes. She's gonna attempt. a potion of minor regeneration. And he is casting Armor of Faith. Yeah. Uh, nice shot. I took 15 from some cheap ass shit. Yes. How's that potion coming along? Yes. What's he doing? Okay, what other cool magic does he have? He's got Ray of Fire, but that could end terribly badly. Um, well, I could do another Fan of Flames. I could do a Dazzling Lights. I could just Hi. use my Arcane Assault and daze some guys. I need to daze these backline guys, because they're the ones who are really the problem for us right now. So do that. Hmm. 
What is she doing? Nothing? Uh, okay. Maybe I'll try Crucible of the Soul. That never okay. seems to work out very well so far, but... What She's trying it? to drink a potion. What? He's trying to cast that. Following your lead. He is trying to just stab a dude. Hey. And there's up here like, I got all these guys, don't even trip. <laughs> he's so tough now, it's great. Um, so he's just... Oh, he killed this guy. So now he's going to kill this guy off next. Um, come on. Did I get the potion off? I think I did. Okay, okay, cool. Armor of Faith is on. So now... Oh, there's a whole bunch of assholes running back here. Eh? My character is no longer engaged. Um... Is there somebody I can shoot? Shoot that guy. Um... Yes? All right, let's nuke these back rank guys again. What? And let's do some crazy priestly stuff. So who needs the most healing? I guess it's my two girls in the back, right? Oh, I didn't realize this has a range. Oh, and it's fast cast too. Cool. Well, yeah, heal them. Then, for sure. What's yes. Kana doing? Kana's got three! Kana's got three! Okay, cool. That could be life-saving. I gotta decide what to use it on, though. This could be the critical decision that makes me win or lose this fight. Okay, so I can summon more skeletons. That could be useful uh, for drawing some attention off of my people. But they don't last long. I could do the... Conal AoE push and stun, but it's versus fortitude, which isn't good. But that could be also very useful. Like if I aimed it, if I aimed it this way, I could hit. I couldn't hit that guy back there. There's no reason to hit these guys. They're busy with, with Adair. I need to hit some of these guys back here. They're like the more problem. Problematical. Problematical? Um, okay, so that could be a good move. Or I could use Thrice, which would just do a bunch of damage to all these guys. Which is probably smarter, because they might resist the other thing pretty easily. So let's use Thrice. Let's do a bunch of damage. Um, okay. He's still just fucking around with his people. Mm. All right, priest. He's casting a heal. Well. All right. She is trying not to be dead. She's engaged by this guard. Um. I really want to be able to get that guy off me, so I'm gonna shoot him with crippling strike. Yeah. My character is not engaged by anyone. She's free to move. She doesn't have enough focus to cast anything. So let's go ahead and have her move down here a bit. I don't know where that guy's going. Oh, Kana just got interrupted. Okay, that's that's okay. That's okay. Uh yeah, I need to like carefully read the uh, the combat log here with this kind of a fight. Alright, so everybody's getting stuff back. It's ticking back health from Kana's chant and from the Consecrated Ground. That's good. Um, catch a Retric hits Catriel for 16. There's over there plinking away at these guys. 
Okay, so Kyle got interrupted, but that just means he takes longer to do the thing, right? Okay, so... Still casting, still casting, still casting. He's doing his thing. That leaves these two. So first we have Catriel, who is kind of getting her ass kicked. She's engaged by two guys now. She can't sneak attack either of them. She has no reasonable way to get away. If she moves at all, she's going to get pasted. Is there anybody over here she can sneak attack? Anybody? That guy's dazed. For a... moment. Yes? Oh, and he's casting another... So he's about to daze all these guys, actually. Well. Um... Shoot him real fast. Hmm. And what is my character doing? She was just moving. Oh, she needs to decide what to do. Okay, I don't think her gun is loaded, so I think she needs to switch to the Archivus. Cool. Catrio grazes him. Alright. Uh... Is he getting that heal off anytime soon, or...? Following your lead. <laughs> Catrill's only got six health left. Let's try the, um, the Thunder Wave instead. Hey. Terra's amazing. He's holding off all of these guys over here, and that archer too, by himself, like it ain't not no thing. Following your okay, great. Kana's gonna do the Thunder Wave. Hopefully that'll Bye. help us out. Uh, he is still trying to cast that damn heal here on on the girls. Um, yes. She is just a kinds of fuck. Like, oh, she never even got the potion drank because she still has two of them. Could you could you drink the potion? Maybe could we try that? Thanks. Yes. Um. What is he doing? He just cast arcane assault. So now he's got. Free action. He could use this scroll to heal her, um, or he could cast something vicious and hateful. We could just let her die, and that way I could hit all these guys with. Actually, hold on. We really could just let her die. Like this is one of those times. It's like in chess where you have to sacrifice a piece. Like she's only. Like yes. maybe she should just not drink a potion. Maybe she should just shoot one dazed guy, get try to get one sneak attack off before she dies. Maybe he... I mean, he'll still cast the heal. We'll see what happens, but... Yes? I guess I shouldn't deliberately hit her. That is a... God, that's an amazingly huge cone. If only my allies weren't in it. Um, well, wait, he's not engaged, right? No, he's not, so I could move him a little bit. Indeed. Hey, he, she got healed, she got healed. Oh, and the thunder wave went off. So now, she's still engaged by that jackass, though. Ser Seraphine is not engaged, and she doesn't seem to be doing anything.
No, Aloth, don't do that. Don't do what you think you're doing right there. Yeah. This is my character. She needs to kill that guy. Well. So Catriel's back down to 12, even after having, um... Did... Okay, the heal went off, but... Dazed one second. You can nuke the shit out of some people, is how you can help. I think I'm gonna sacrifice her <laughs> to cast that, that fire yeah. spell. My character's shooting. Okay, Durance uh, needs to. Oh, this guy's can engage. Look at him. He must have Defender Aura. He does. It says Defender Aura right on his tooltip. That's cool. Because he's engaging three of us. What an asshole. Alright. What kind of spell can we use here? I could withdraw her. But that doesn't really do any good because then that just means they beat on us and she's useless for a whole long time. So let's um let's think real hard. attack with him. On your word. Hey. You know, he could probably eat their at opportunity attacks and come over here and help. Of course, he doesn't help much, so yeah, I'll, and Ryan, let him keep these four busy. Well, she is presumably going to try to shoot this guy once before she dies. Yes. He's casting the flame thing. Yeah. He doesn't give a shit. She's just going to shoot. Okay, here we go. We're ready. Here we go. Okay. I just wasted Catrio with that fire. Let's see. Um Fan of Flames. I killed the Paladin of Bareth. I knocked out Catriel. So what happened with the Fan of Flames? Let's see. Missed one guard. Hit one for 14. Crits one for 73. Hits another one for 35. Graces Canna for only 13. Oh, Grace Canna too? And hits Catrio for 52. Sorry. Uh, look at her health now. My wizard just fried the shit out of her. Oh, okay. Aloth. You got jokes. Okay. Well, 
He's still not engaged, right? So he should move. Well, maybe he shouldn't move. Maybe he should just stand and deliver more flame things. Hmm. Oh, she's no longer engaged. Cool, get her the fuck back. Um, what's happening mm -hmm. here? They're still trying to kill this guy. Get him! What do you need to do? Do you need a barbs of condemnation this guy? Do it. Kana. Following your lead. Get him. Hey. There, you know what you're doing over here. Hi? Aloth is burning <laughs> fools, hopefully. My character's moved back and she still does not have enough stuff to do a thing, so she just needs to find somebody to shoot. Hopefully somebody that's gonna be like easier to hit. Shoot him. Okay. Um Okay, Dare can handle that. Ooh, Aloth's getting chopped up. Did he get interrupted? Or no, he's still casting it. Now Durance is getting chopped up. Barbs of Condemnation misses. Fuck. Fan of Flames. Here we go. What did that do? What did that do? Redrick Guard for 46, Redrick Guard for 43, and Kana. How am I hitting Kana with that? Oops, sorry, Kana. Oh, this consecrated ground is kicking ass. It is it is healing crap out of us. That is a great spell. Oh god, it's gonna run out in one second though, isn't it? Okay, well, we're starting to kind of whittle stuff down over here. This guard's close to dead. This paladin's pretty badly hurt. This guard's close to dead. Aider's still got everything completely under control over here. So. Hey. Yes? Alright, Kana. Could we please kill this motherfucker? Hmm? Durance. You have one spell left. Make it count, sir. Should he save it for a heal? Should he... What does this do again? Frightens them, which... Reduces their accuracy. Yeah, that's not that great. I mean, it's nice, but it's not that great. Um, maybe I should throw down a blessing. It'll get everybody. It'll help us keep killing. Oh, Paladin of Bareth hit my character for 27. I didn't even know. Oh, now they're both engaging her. Okay. Okay, what is she doing? Oh, she's reloading. All right, that's that's great. Um, Aloth, I thought you were... Oh, you, he just did it. He just cast his fan of flames. How may I help? And now he's got this guy in his face. What are you gonna do? You could do one more fan of flames if you want to hit like all your own people. <laughs> well, maybe I could move them before it goes off. Yeah, maybe. That doesn't seem like a good idea, but.
Well, I need to cast this spell because it's my best, it's my really my best option in general. On the other hand, well, let's see, what if I didn't want to hit everybody? Well, you could just hit this one guy, but that's lame. Um, I could Minaletta Missiles, I could just Ray of Fire this, like, say... I wonder if I Ray of Fired him, who it would go through. You know what, I'm casting it. Maybe it'll go through him too, and him. That'd be sweet. Okay, so Ray of Fire's going. My character's still freaking reloading. What? He is casting Blessing. He's just trying to finally kill this motherfucker. Hey. Alright, here we go. What just happened? Okay, we're doing fine, we're doing fine. Um, Seraphina's getting pieced up by this guy. Okay, Ray of Fire, let's see what that did. Guard, guard, paladin. Blessing. Everybody got blessed. Okay. He's done his ray of fire thing. Eh? She's gonna die. Unless she can, like, land a real good shot right here. Oh, Aleph got dropped. Okay, now we're starting to have issues. Durance is about to go down. My character is about to go down. Yes. Kana's still feeling healthy, but... Durance has no more spells. So, there's that to keep in mind. Just kill. Just kill. Eh? My character's really screwed. <laughs> okay, okay. Three chance, three chance. This could save us. This could save us. What are my options here? These guys are all kind of hurt, so a, so a thrice might, um... You still pulling packs out, eh? I pulled the whole group out! And I've been fighting them for a long time. <laughs> that whole big group in front of the doors. With, like... The three paladins and all the archers and the and the cell swords and the guards. Okay. I could use that here. And I'm in a real precarious spot right here. It's something magical needs to happen right now. First of all, what does liberating exhortation do? Will that make him like immune to Should I should I summon some skeletons? That won't help, because they're still just going to kill my my people. So, I could do the Thunder Cone and hope for the best. Or I could do the Lightning Bolts and hope for the best. I really don't know which to do. I think i got to do the Thunder Cone and hope that works. She's about to go down. He's about to go down. Adair's over here tanking four things this whole time. Actually, he was tanking five. 
Meanwhile, these guys are over here just getting owned. The fighter's amazing. Okay, come on, Thundercone. I need you, Thundercone. And, of course, it pushed them all, except for the one that was about to kill my character. Got it. Alright. This guy- this guy's almost dead. My endurance is not in good shape. He really- he got pushed? He really needs to kill this guy. He has no spells left. He just needs to kill this guy. Yes? Kana really he's not engaged, but he really needs to I don't know. Like also come and kill this guy. Oh he got him, he got him! I crit him for 30. Cool. Alright, Durance. This is good. This is good. Let's take this guy out now. Let's flank him and get him. Oh! Did my dare finally kill this dude? He's been beating on this guy for a long mm -hmm. time. Okay, so I have the archers that are still shooting him. I think I'm gonna have him run over here and help with this business because these archers are not really that big of a deal to him. They can't even make disengagement attacks. So I need you to come over here. Oh, now they're all shooting. Oh no, that's still him they're shooting. Okay. Please die. Please die, sir. Oh, damn. Durance is down. Well, this is not going well. Okay, okay. Let's take this guy out, maybe. On your word. Oh, these paladins hit so fucking hard. Drink a potion. Drink a potion. How come that's how come that's not helping? Is he getting shot now? Oh, see, the archers have switched targets. God damn it. Oh good, he's got three. If he can just get a thing off before. Like, I don't know what, like, like. I don't I, we're fucked. We can't we can't do this. Um He's, he's regenerating. Okay. The 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 three skeletons would just get their asses kicked. I could do thrice though. I could do thrice and try to just do a bunch of damage. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. He did do a bunch of damage. Adair might still be able to win this by himself. Um, I'm gonna have an AO. What does this do? 20 seconds. What does this do? 35 seconds. Maybe you could just kill this guy for me. Yeah, no, this isn't happening. Alright, I'm drinking all the fucking potions. No, not AL. Potion of power. Potion of power, go.
All right, now kill. Oh, this guy's regenerating. Fuck my life. Well, switch and kill this guy because he's like the hardest hitter out here. What if you stopped missing? That would be cool. No, he can't even restore endurance because he's down to health now. Okay, well, I am not going to attempt that fight again now. I don't need to, I can get into the castle two other ways. I don't have the right party composition or like abilities um, or maybe level to, to handle that right now on this difficulty. So I gave it a valiant try, of course. but that is too much. This fight right here well. is just too much. We got, what do you have? A cell sword, two cell swords, two cell swords. Uh, however many archers there are. Three archers, two, three, three guards, and three paladins of Bereth. So what, that's like 11 guys. And those paladins are fucking beasts. They have a lot of health, they hit really hard. The guards are a problem too, because they have health. They have defender aura, so they can engage three people at once. They have knockdown, because they're straight up fighters and they regenerate endurance. The cell swords aren't really that big of a deal. And then the archers are fucking rogues. They <laughs> shoot you with sneak attack and stuff. I mean, it's it's nuts. I mean, if I was at, like, you know, a level or two higher maybe, and if, or if I had some different people, I mean, at some point, this is a fight I'll be able to win, but right now, with my current group, on Path of the Damned, I just don't think I can do it. I don't have any spells that would be crucial to doing this. Think about a druid, it would help a whole lot, because druids are amazingly badass. But I'm gonna load again because I just got myself into some shit here. So. Anyway, so I know that I'm not going in that way. We've determined that now. Of course. So I can go in through the sewers or I can go up the wall, which the sewer sounds gross, so I'm gonna go up the wall. Now, how am I doing on resources? Yes. Okay, so I have everything. Nobody's. Oh, he has hurt some. Maybe I should rest again before I go in there. Maybe I should actually. Take my ass. You must gather your party before venturing forth. I love that. Try number three. What's what do you mean number three? Oh, try number three. No, not on that fight. I'm done with that one for now. I'm gonna go here real quick. I can always travel back and buy more stuff because nothing in this game respawns. Does it ever respawn? Like if an extremely long period of time passes, does anything respawn? Because I would kind of like it if some some stuff respawned. It'd be nice to be able to go back out and kill more things. But maybe you can't at all in this game. Did 
Thank you. Please come again. And that is the last of the uh, camping supplies I left behind. So there's a very specific finite number of enemies in the game, and once you've killed them all, that's it. There's no way to get more enemies. That's okay, I guess. I mean, I'd prefer it if that wasn't the case. I'd prefer it if there was at least one area where you could keep going back in and there'd be more enemies. So if you wanted to grind for, like, certain, like, parts, you know, um, you could, but... This guy looks like Thor. Except he's got a little hatchet instead of a... Instead of a, um... Whatever you call it. Well, there is what? What are you talking about, 404 not found? You can do the missions from your garrison. Ah! See, I haven't gotten the garrison yet. I don't know how all that works. That sounds cool, though. If there's, like, unlimited missions that are... That are just random. Oh, cool! Yeah, I like that. So you could, you could do that as much as you want, then, if you... If you wanted to. Like, before you finish the game or whatever. Okay, that's cool. Um... Let me go... Let me go to Gilded Vale. I'm going to rest at the inn. I am going to use the Expensiver room here. Expensiver? I'm going to get that plus one mechanics just in case I need it in, those, in the dungeons of that castle. I probably don't because I already have, what, pretty darn good mechanics for right now. Catriel has five. My character has four, but still, she has five. Five mechanics is probably good enough at this stage in the game, but you never know. Might not be. I should go to the blacksmith and see if he has more lockpicks, though. Okay, blacksmith, let's talk. Well met, friend. Do I have anything to sell? Yeah, I do. Lots of stuff to sell. Okay, that's good. 990. Cool. I have some gold again. Or some copper. Okay, uh, anything I need to buy here besides... That'd be quite nice for character or the wizard, but... I wonder how good this is. That seems like it could be handy. There's the lockpicks, anyway. I need those. So... I don't think I'm gonna buy that bronze horn. You know what? Fuck it. Why not? Why not? It's 500 copper. You only live once. Maybe that's the one thing I needed to beat that fight. Tarnished and lusterless in its remarkable age, the intricate inscriptions and texturing 
Still discernible on the horn's surface, along with the artifact's obvious longevity, suggests an object of expert workmanship. Hmm. Do I have to put it in a quick slot? Or... Well, let's say I put it in a quick slot. Tell me this is not, like, a one-shot item that costs that much gold. Because if that's the case, I'm going to be unhappy. I kind of want to test it out now. I kind of want to test okay. it out right in this room. You're not getting through me. You're not getting... Okay. Yeah. Through me. What did I summon? An animat. Is this thing on my side? It is. This thing looks pretty badass. Uh. Let's see. Hmm. Not that cool. And you will notice. Oh, the horn is. I still have the horn. Yeah. So maybe it's once a day. Yeah. Or maybe it's once an encounter. How come all the people in this fucking store are kicking my ass? What the hell? Is, what kind of store is this? Alright, well... Obviously I need to re- Oh, that's not the save I wanted to load. No, oh, I need to reload my autosave. From entering the store. Not... Not the quick save way the fuck back here. That's a pretty neat item if it's once per encounter. If it's once per day, it's still decent. I just wanted to make sure oh, it wasn't like you use it once and it's gone forever, because that would so not be worth it. But even if it's once per day, it's probably oh, worth friend. it for that price. And if it's once per an encounter, it's amazing. All right, I gotta sell my stuff again. So I think I will buy it. I'm just not gonna start a fight in the middle of the uh, <laughs> the middle of the store this time. Okay, got more lockpicks. What does this mean? One damage reduction for 300 seconds. So what? It's like beer. It's just like beer. It is just like beer. Okay. Oh, cool, it's in a horn. That's awesome. So, anyone could use this. My main character doesn't have to be the one to use it. I could put it on Adloth, really. Or even the rogue. But the rogue... Who's going to have the most time without something useful to do, really? Because kind of everybody's carrying stuff except the rogue. I'll give this to her. And then I'll have my character use the horn. Okay. 
Cool. Let's let's roll out of here. I'm gonna put my obsidian worm back on. Piglet, you've had your turn. Okay. We've bought, we've sold. We're feeling good. Instead of going back to the castle, I could go down into the basement of this place and see what's up. Maybe I'll do that. Because I have a couple characters still that are about to level up, right? Not her, obviously. Oh yeah, he's about to level up. And he's about to level up. And he's about to... So I have three characters that are just about to level up. So that'd be nice to have those levels before I go back to the castle. Where the hell is this place? Here. Those just make some random dudes. Oh yeah, that was what you were talking about with the other thing. Okay. How many hours am I on for this stream? I am on... 31 hours. I should change my, um, my thing again. <laughs> I'm going to, hold on. Okay. So let's go down in here. I haven't been in here yet. What's this child doing? This is going to be Barath's house now. I don't remember seeing this child here before. The temple used to be closed up. I used to climb on the big stones. Papa says the temple is cursed. The hell is this kid? This is the first kid I've seen anywhere, actually. Other than the, other than the um, Wicks that are like evil feral kids. Okay, let's let's go in here. Temple of Aethus. Um, wait, I forgot. I was gonna rest at the end and I didn't do that. Gotta go rest real quick, hold on. Loading screens of eternity. Actually, the loading screens are pretty fast in this. I can't complain. How do you do? Uh, 
I'm 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 uh springing for the extra little bit extra expensive room for the plus to perception and mechanics, which it just might need. So now my character has 21 perception. And I have five mechanics and she has six mechanics. So that should be more than enough, I hope, for anything that's in there. 31 plus hours, yes, I'm on 31 hours now. And um, I'm feeling pretty sure I can make it to 36 at least. I might even, I might even go crazy and, and get a 48 hour stream. I don't know. <laughs> That's unlikely though. 36 though, I'm pretty much certain that I can do 36 now. Because I'm really not tired. Mm. Wait. I passed it. See, that kid's not here now. He's not here at night. He's only here in the daytime. That's how come... It's come I didn't see him before, because when I explored this area the first time, it was nighttime. That would probably be bad, you say, huh? Well, I mean, I've stayed up longer than that just for the lulls. Plenty of times, actually. Or just because I couldn't sleep. I get manic, and then... The longest I ever stayed up was only one, only one time I stayed up this long. And it was, how old was I? Like, 17, I think? Yeah, I was 17. I might have been 18. Anyway, I was, I was 17 or 18. It was right around there. I stayed up for five days. Five straight days without any kind of drugs or anything. Uh, but that was only one time. Um, but I've stayed up for three days straight lots of times. And two days straight, like, hundreds of times. So, really, as long as I'm well rested in the beginning of it and I keep my mind engaged so that I don't get bored and start getting tired because my mind isn't engaged, the, I, staying up for two days is not really a big deal for me. I'm not gonna die sitting in an internet cafe. I'm not gonna, I mean, it's not like I ref forget to eat and don't eat at all, and it's not like I'm so exhausted and then I, like, pass out or whatever, and that's never happened to me. I'm just, um... And I do get up and move around every so often. Okay, am I going down there? Yeah, I am. I take a little break every two hours and get up and move around at least. DVTs. You down with DVT? Yeah, you know me. Who's down with DVT? Every last told me. Oh, here it is. Now that's the symbol of Aethys. The sunrise over the three stars. That's not the symbol that's on this cape, right? I don't think it is. Uh, which cape was it? It's this one, right? Why would you do that? Let's see this cape real quick. That's not the same symbol, right? Can't hmm. really tell. No problem. Without some. Well, there's a sunrise, but I can't really tell if there's any. It's not really the same symbol, but it is a similar enough symbol that it could still be a type of symbol of Aethys, even if it's not that symbol specifically. Because keep in mind, this is the cape that. Adair was wearing when I met him, and he is a worshiper of that god, so it makes sense that that's some kind of Aethys symbol. Those do actually have the shape of the, of the uh, Star of David. 
but watch it with the Jew talk. I mean, you didn't say anything specifically uh, anti-Semitic there, but just don't. Dressed again with my real thing, and I'm putting this back away. I'm going into stealth, you know. selecting everyone. Oh, here's a guy, Wharton. He must be the. Is he a. What is he? Can't even tell what he is. At first, I thought he was in Orland, but I guess he's not. There's just a bunch of crap in the air. It's real dusty down here. Alright. Let's look at this a rising sun and three dawn stars, the symbol of Aethys. Yeah, I knew that. I knew that. It's way ahead of you there. Okay, so this place looks kind of uh, in disrepair. Uh, hello? Who's there? We'd better just throw a quick save on this. I mean, like a real save. Okay. Wharton, huh? Hey, buddy. A man lies resting against the wall, lit by the dim illumination of the fading sconces. He has a gaunt, fox-like aspect, and his face is pale and damp with sweat. One arm is held loosely against his side, sleeves soaked with blood. He gives you an anxious glance as you near, his features twisted with pain. So I don't think this guy's doing too well. He might have, he might have like, stubbed his toe. You know, like, he might have, like... Had an error while clipping his nails, where, where you like clip too too deep on one side, and then it like like bleeds and it hurts for a couple of days. That might have happened to him. You know, he might have tried to drink his orange juice too fast and like choked on it. Who knows? Really, the the possibilities are nearly limitless. Let's find out. Have a care if you mean to go in. He casts a quick look toward the doorway to his left. This place is not so empty as I thought. He angles a look up at Adair. Paying your respects, Aethasian. He manages a pained grin. A little risky, isn't it? Think of what the townsfolk would say. Adair, safer down here than up there, even with the rats as big as they are. A faint edge of hostility belies Adair's playful tone. This temple isn't what it used to be. Probably for the best. Times being as they are. He groans and shifts position, wincing. I'm no looter, if that's what you were thinking. Not one of his types, either. Wharton jerks his chin toward Adair. Just wanted to do some good, I suppose. Got my arm clawed up for it. He regards you wearily. Maybe you'd have better luck. Well, yeah, there were six of us, and there was one of you, so right there, we're probably, probably have a bit of an advantage. Better luck with what? The man points a finger upwards. These ruins around us it used to be a temple of Aethys, the scattered god. A grand temple at that. His worshippers would come from all over the Deerwood, from Raid Saris even. Not so much from Red Saris these days. Until the war, of course. Even then, you'd get some of the stubborn ones. The ones that couldn't get through their heads that their god was dead and gone. Okay, so if I was a worshiper of Aethys, I could say some shit here. Um, I'm going to be snotty a little bit, but in a playful way. Is this really the time for a history lesson? Wharton laughs. And besides, I've already heard both Adair and even more so uh, Durance tell me in great detail all about this conflict, the war, what happened. I mean, like, I've heard this story like ten different ways now. Wharton laughs and winces as it jostles his arm. Just giving you the full story is all. What I want is in deeper inside the temple where the priests lived. Lord Radric had him killed. Same as the poor bastards on that tree outside. 
Oh, really? He butchered the priests in here, too, huh? What a dick. The temple's been sealed up for years since, until just a short time ago. That's where I got involved. And you, now, I hope. Wharton pauses to breathe a moment. The priests, if you can find their remains, well, maybe we can finally give them a proper burial. I have some questions first. Yes? Well, this is an asshole question. He just told you why he can't do it himself. He's fucking wounded. I'm probably gonna ask anyway, though, because I'm just a curious sort of person. But I'm gonna ask this first. Who are you, anyway? Wurton offers you a weak grin. Name's Wurton. I've lived in Gilded Vale long enough to remember how grand it used to be. Eh, I've looked around the town, and I have a hard time imagining it was ever grand, quote-unquote, but we'll let you live in your little delusions, buddy. He shrugs and looks away. I used to help the temple. Sometimes. Bring supplies. That's all. Won't Lord Radric mind us digging around down there? Won't Lord Radric mind us digging around down there? Why wouldn't you telling him about it? Lingering in these places is no good for anyone. But you do this quick and quiet, and we can do right by those priests without raising a fuss. Yeah, I went and tried to say hi to Lord Radric uh, just, just a little bit ago, and I found his home to be quite inhospitable. Um, <laughs> the, like, 12 dudes that came rushing out and killed me, uh, made me think that maybe hospitality was not one of his, uh, primary virtues in life. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna ask that. That's not really my kind of question. I will ask this, though. Why can't you do this yourself? Well, I tried. Only got a short ways in before I got in over my head. Wirt and grimaces. I haven't raised a blade in a long time. Turns out it isn't something you can just pick up again. But you look like you can handle yourself. I have no more questions. Wirt nods. Then, what do you say? I lied. I have more questions. No, not really. You want me to bring you some skeletons? Blah, blah, blah. Take it, you aren't supposed to be in here. I take it, you aren't supposed to be in here. Wurton laughs bleakly. <laughs> well, I, I meant to be in and out, nice and quick. I'm not hurting anyone, it's just Lord Radric's forbidden anyone from having anything to do with the scattered god. It'd be a little harder to explain to him than you. Monkey Booty 79, how you doing? Monkey booty, doodle -doo, doodle -doo, monkey booty, doodle -doo, doodle -doo. I don't know. Really, not the same thing. I. It, it's a good cause, though, isn't it? And you could make some coin in the process. Wait, you want me to bring you some skeletons? I'd bury them where they are if I could. I know it's a little macabre, but if we don't get them out now. Radric's life will to destroy whatever's left of them. I mean, that personally doesn't matter to me, but obviously it matters to this dude, so... Eh, I'll find them. Then by the flame, I owe you a good turn. But listen, the temple's been sealed off for so long it's crawling with creatures, but if you get past them, the priests would have been down on the lower floor. They'll be there still if they're anywhere. Those priests had all kinds of secret chambers. Yeah, I'm good at finding secret chambers, son. Switches in the walls, tricks, sconces, that kind of thing. Keep an eye out and take care down there. I wouldn't want to have to send someone else after your remains. I'll wait here by the stairs and keep a lookout. Maybe try to patch myself up some. You're like right here by the exit. Why stay here and patch yourself up where you could still be in danger? Just fucking crawl your ass out to the town. Buried secrets, new quest. Okay. I like new quests. 
Lord Radric has decided to rededicate Gilded Vale's abandoned Aethasian temple to a new deity. The entrance to the temple has been cleared, allowing entry for the first time in many years. Inside the temple, I encountered a man called Wurton, who wishes for me to search the ruins for the remains of Aethasian priests he tells me Radric's guards slaughtered many years ago. Wurton mentioned that the temple is full of secret compartments, yay, and that I will likely find the remains on the lowest floor of the- lowest floor- how many floors are there exactly? What am I fucking signing up here for? Signing up here for? Signing up for here. Yeah. Wurton also warned me, however, that the temple has become infested with spiders and skulder. Actually, he didn't say a thing about spiders and skulder. He'd never mentioned either of those things. He just said, quote, creatures. So apparently when I write in my journal about my quest, I just make shit up. I'm like, well, he said creatures. I'm assuming he meant spiders and skulder. Write it down. Write it down. It's going to be spiders and skulder. Trust me. I'd bet my life on it. Like, my scribe is there like, But sir, he didn't say he's fine. Shut up, write it down. <laughs> so let it be written, so let it be done. If anybody could tell me what that was a quote from, I will be impressed. So let it be written, so let it be done. That's a quote from a pretty famous movie. And it's used several times in that movie. It is old, though. Okay. Shh. Oh, well, we've had a nice talk. Let's see if he has anything else to say. Just well, sometimes they do. Word nods at you in greeting, cradling his injured arm. You've returned. Find anything? Well, I'm wondering why the fuck you're still sitting here. Like, you could have crawled your ass outside. There's people in the town that would help you. I mean, seriously. I'm still exploring the upper level. No sign of anything yet. Well, keep at it. I figure they're down in the lower reaches for certain. I'll be here. Yeah, I've I've looked thoroughly around this room we're in, and I haven't found the bones. Just thought I'd give you a status update. And what does the flame reveal? Every time we go to stealth, you don't have to say some creepy shit, Durance. Seriously. Don't make this weird, man. Okay, let's go. Apparently it's gonna be spiders and skulder. I'm feeling I'm feeling like spiders and skulder tonight. Alright, where's the secret shit? I don't see any secret sh shit yet. I expected more secret shit. Also, where my, where my spiders and skulder at? I don't see any. Ooh, look at that. <gasps> that is not spiders and scolder. That is a crazy will of the wisp looking to shock me with electricity that goes out. Like Tommy was so okay. What what the shit is this? Is this like a gang of will o' wisps? Are they gonna jump me in? Am I gonna am I gonna get a beat down so that I can then like be part of the will o' wisp crew? Oh whoa there, killers! What the f actual fuck? That's a lot of little wisps. Alright, we're going around the corner. We're going around the corner. No, do not shoot that zappy shit at me. Oh my god. Oh. And it confused him. So then he's confused, so he automatically does an engagement attack against... Oh, that's bad news. Yes. Everybody, oh, come hmm. over here. On your work. Kana, you too. Alright, stop being confused, Adair. Seriously, stop being confused. Okay, let's do this now. Now that he's out of the mix, and we don't have to worry about him killing us and us killing him, let's, um... Let's put in some work. Well, now I no longer have an effective, like, actual tank, so... Looks like it's gonna be you, big man, Kana. Get your shark teeth on over there and start tanking some shit off. What? Durance, you too. Do these things count as... No, they're not vessels. Right, let me... What did I learn about these when I fought them before? Uh... 
they're spirits, but I don't think that means they count as vessels, so I don't think his thing will burn them. I don't know, maybe I'll try it, but... On your word. Good, you get over there and handle business. Hmm? You get up there and handle business. Well? I want you to shoot a blinding strike. Yes. Yeah. My character... Okay, you, you want to confuse people? How about this? How about a charm? How about a, how about a charm for you? And then, Aloth, come over here and do something useful <laughs> when and if you can. Ow. Damn, now Khan is one of them. That confusion is a seriously nasty effect. Yeah. Like, I don't want to hit my guy. Well... the hell? Oh, cool, that was my turn going off. Connor, are you engaged by anything? Oh, I can't control him. Oh, cool, Adair's back in the- Adair's back in the fold. That's good. Let's try it. Durance. Now Durance is confused. Huh? Okay, get away from him. On your word. On your word. Hey. Hmm. How may I help? Yes. No! Why are you shooting him? Why would you shoot him? Okay. Hey, monkey, says Jen. I'm cooking, so I'm in and out. Ah, I get it. Yeah. Sometimes I'm cooking. Not very often, but sometimes I am, and in those cases, I too... And in and out. Of okay, dude, you told me about spiders and, and, and scholars, which actually you didn't tell me about, but my journal says you did. But, but you didn't tell me, or journal tell me, either one, about will-o'-wisps. little heads up would have been nice, bruh. little heads up would have been nice. Oh, there's more. Of course there is. Of course there's more. Hey. Right. There. Get in there and do your thang. And... Ooh, he leveled up. Aleph leveled up. Hmm. That's great. Hmm. Yes? Well? How may I help? Well. Your word. What? 
Alright, leave it there okay. alone. What is it? Hi? Yeah. On your work. Yes. Hmm. Yes. That AI, when I get a person confused and he turns red, my the AI of my characters will run towards him and start beating his ass. Which is funny because it makes it seem like he's not the one that's confused. They're the, every, the rest of my party is not confused. They shouldn't be like, hey, haha, time to kill a dare, yes! Like, they, they should be like, oh, he's confused. Let's not, like, randomly hit him a bunch. But nope. On your word. Nope. That is not how they think. What is it? Hi? Eh? I missed. Ah, oh, now Aloth is confused. What? Yeah. Well... Following your lead. Hmm? Ah, curse your eyes! What just happened here? Victory! So now we've killed six Will O Wisps. Their fortitude is really low, that's cool. It's good to know. Quickly and quietly. What do we have here? First of all, Aloth, congratulations on your level up, sir. With your goofy hat and your little wand. Okay. We will bump up his. Well, we'll bump up his stealth one more. And then we will also give him one point in athletics so that he doesn't get tired as easily. And he gets another spell, just one, but I need another second level spell because I'm real I'm real light on second level spells, so can't remember which other ones I liked. I know I liked binding web quite a bit. Curse of Black and Sight I liked quite a bit. Necrotic Lance I can get for or I can pay for out of the other uh, mages grimoire that I found, so I'm not gonna use that. Rolling Flame actually might be kind of good. It goes a long way. It does a decent amount of burn, but the problem with it is, of course, it will hit your allies too. Which is no good. It is no bueno. Is it bueno? No. Its buenoness is noness. Wow, that was the least sensical sounding thing I've said in a while. And that's saying something. Maybe what I want is... No. No. Ooh, this is good, though. Hmm. Actually. It's a small radius, but it's not a faux AoE. It would just work on anybody, which makes it kind of irritating to use.
What can I get that's a fast cast? I like fast casts. That's actually a pretty great save your ass spell when they get up on him. It is fast cast and it's quite a lot of extra endurance. That's fast, but that's just a boring defensive spell. Ah, AoE Confuse. Well, we've seen how good Confuse is. Confuse handles business. I don't like Rolling Flame. Shit bounces. Yeah, I know. I know. That's. It's hard to control. You've got to have a real situation where the enemies are lined up just right. It's hard to not get it to hit your people. That's why I don't like it either. I mean, in theory, in some situations, it, it's really awesome, but... Most of the time, it's just a pain in the ass to use. Um, wow. Confuse wrecks shit, from what I've seen. Enemies be making, like, opportunity attacks on each other and stuff, but it's not a very big radius, and that's not a very long duration, so I don't know if that's really worth it. I think I'll take Binding Web, because Binding Web is cool. That could be really useful for dealing with big groups of enemies that are, like, chasing after us. And we get them in the web so they slowly come through while we hit them with other spells and stuff. I think Binding Web's the way forward. Oh, okay, he finally gets a talent. So... It's not going to be any of those. I could take one of these where you get 20% extra damage of a certain type. But he doesn't really do a certain damage type all the time. Unless I do fire, because he has the fire cone first level, and he has the flame ray second level, but I don't know. I don't think I'm going to do that, because he has some nice... So this is Arcane Veil, which Obsidian wants us to believe is really useful, but 25 deflection is actually not that much, especially not on this difficulty setting. And it's twice per rest, and you're going to get hit anyway, basically. Grimoire Slam's nice because it's once per encounter, and if a guy's up in, and I can melee and I can hit him with it and push him away, which is great if somebody comes up and engages me, I can get him off me with that, which is nice. Um, allows the wizard to smash an enemy with a Grimoire, energize a spiritual energy, causing large damage and knocking the target back. And the, the whole concept of it is cool. He <laughs> fucking hits him with his book. <laughs> Um, penetrating Blast, though, is nice. Because when I use my implement and I hit everybody with it, now I bypass 5 DR, so that's pretty great. And, of course, bonus first level spell is glorious. Any extra spell slots are really good to have. So, I really don't know. It's hard for me to decide. I think I will take Grimoire Slam, just because it's once per encounter, so it's a thing I can use over and over. And actually, you could use it on, to help someone else, too. If they run up and they're engaging one of my other backline characters, he could run up and do that and push him away, and that's kind of nice. So, I would be taking Grimoire Slam. It's kind of cool to have an extra ability that's just, like, on your bar that you can use every okay. encounter. Um, where is it on my bar? Yes. How may I help? Oh, okay. It's right here. I can smash an enemy with... Can I use it on allies? I can't use it on allies. Okay. And there's my web. It's already right here in my... See, look how big... Oh, I can't see how big the web is because... Wait. What's going on right now? There it is. Oh, the web's not as big as I thought it was going to be, but it's still pretty big. How long does it last? 13 seconds. It's not nearly as good as Tanglefoot, and Tanglefoot's a first level spell, but there you go, overpowered druids. Yeah. I'll try it out. Hmm. You know, I do have more gold now. 
I mean more copper. He could learn He could at least learn this, Necrotic Lance. I think I will. Learn a new spell. And then and then um How may I help? There we go. Now he has a full four second level spells to choose from. Wait, why are two of them Fetid Caress? Okay, there we go. Um, because Necrotic Lance is a nice big single target damage spell. It does a lot of damage up front and then it does more damage over time as well. So that's good. That's a good thing to zap somebody with if I need to do big damage to one target. Okay, now that we've had the leveling up experience, we're gonna F5. I shall be discreet. The parchment is worn and tattered, and the ink upon it faded. In this time of hardship, we must have just as much faith in ourselves. Indeed. Hmm. Is that right? Okay. Well, this is. An old ruined temple. Let's see what kind of goodies can be found in here. Ooh, three pieces of Audra. Nice. And some copper pans. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. We will explore this room with spiders in it in our next episode. The stream will continue in just a few minutes. Thank you for watching. This is Josiah Plays. Pillars of Eternity. And this has been Josiah Plays. Pillars of Eternity.